All right, folks, let's get into lesson 11. The class starts by using booleans to compare the current value of the sprite property with a target value, using that comparison to determine when a sprite has reached a point on the screen, grown to gi a given size, or otherwise reached a value using the counter pattern. After using booleans directly to investigate the values or sprite properties, the class adds conditional if statements to write code that responds to those boolean comparisons. All right, these are important vocabulary terms. A boolean expression in programming is an expression that evaluates to true or false. An if statement is the common programming structure that implements conditional statements. As you can see, lesson 11 is all about conditional statements. Okay, exercise two. Let's run this, see what happens. Okay. Boolean expressions. Decision-making on computers are based on statements called Boolean expressions. A Boolean expression is any expression that can only evaluate to either true or false. This can be particularly useful when used to compare the properties of two sprites. For example, you could figure out which one is larger or placed higher up. In the next few puzzles, we'll use simple Boolean expressions to compare sprite properties. Predict. Read the code below. There are some new symbols in it which you haven't been introduced to. Take a guess at what they mean and try to answer the following question. Which result will be printed in the console by this program? Okay, so we're looking for true, false, true. Sprite 1 dot y equals sprite 2 dot y. Okay, so is the y position of sprite 1 equal to the y position of sprite 2? Um, well, they're both, hmm, it looks like it. They're both on the y-axis. They look equal. Uh, so that would probably be true. Sprite 1 dot x is greater than sprite 2 dot x. Okay, so their x position, sprite 1. I think that's false, because this x position has a larger value. If you look down here, this x position value is greater than this, so I think that's going to be false. Sprite1.x is less than sprite2.y. Yeah, that's just the opposite of this, so I think this... Oh, this is sprite... Oh, okay, okay. So this is sprite1.x is less than sprite2.y. Well, that's kind of hard to think about. Sprite1.x, so let's say it's about 100, is less than Sprite2.y. Y, okay, so these look about equal, maybe. Oh, no, they're not. This is 100, this is 200, so I think that's uh, true. All right, so now let's look at the debug console. True, false, true. Okay, awesome. I think I was right. However, make sure you're guessing down here, okay? Cool. All right, watch this video as a class or by yourself, depending on what your teacher tells you to do. Watch the video, though. Don't skip it. Booleans and comparison operators. This is very important stuff, okay? I want you to read this and think about it. This will help you, okay? This will help you for the rest of the course. Okay, Boolean expressions. The simplest Boolean expressions are questions that the computer can answer with true or false. These expressions are made using comparison operators as shown below. Okay, so these are comparison operators that you have seen in math class. Less than, greater than, uh, equal to. Note, if you saw the statement 3 is less than 2 in math class, you'd think something was terribly wrong. But this is not math class. In computer science, the comparison operators ask a question that the computer will answer with true or false. So you can read 3 is less than 2 as, is 3 less than 2? The answer in this case is no, or false. 
Another way to say that is that the Boolean expression 3 is less than 2 evaluates to false. Do this. Can you modify the values of the sprite properties so that each of the Boolean expressions evaluates to true? Uh, read through the entire program to see how sprite 1 and sprite 2 are being created and which properties are compared. Uh, okay, all right. Uh, sprite 1 rotation. Okay, here are the comparisons. Cool. So they want us to ask ourselves uh, sprite2.x is equal to sprite2.y. Well, let's run the code. Uh-oh. Okay, all right. Now I'm seeing what we need to do. Look here. Everything's evaluating to false. We, they want us to change this, all these equations, or uh, all these statements, all these conditionals, so that they evaluate to true. So how can we make sprite2.x equals sprite2.y true? Um, okay, well, oh, okay. We need to go up here and make... What is it? Sprite2.x equals Sprite2.y. Sprite. Okay, so here's the x, here's the y. We need to make them equal. So I'm going to change this to 300. Let's reset and run and look down here. Perfect. We made this true. All right. Now, let's look at comparison 2. Sprite2.rotation is less than 40. Um, okay. Sprite 2 dot rotation is 60, so we needed to make it less than 40. I'm going to put 39 and reset and run. Nice. See that? Comparison 2 is now true. All right, comparison 3. Sprite 1, I got I to scroll over. How do I do that? Okay, I have to zoom out in order to see the rest of these blocks. If you want to zoom out, you need to hold down control on your keyboard and hit the minus sign. Okay, so now I zoomed out and now I can see comparison three. Sprite 1.scale equals sprite2.scale. Okay, so they want us to make this scale. Okay, so sprite 1.scale equals 1.5. Sprite2.scale equals 0.5. Uh, let's make the apple smaller. So let's change. Uh, I would think, okay, that's it. Here's the apple. So we're going to change this scale to make it 0.5 so that it's equal to sprite2.scale. And let's check out the, perfect. Now comparison 3 is true. Let's go to comparison 4. Sprite1.x is greater than 150. So let's find Sprite1.x and make it greater than 150. Sprite1.x is 100. If we do 151, that should make comparison 4 true, and it does. Cool. Uh, so comparison 5. Sprite2.y is less than 200. Sprite 2 dot y is less than 200. Okay, so let's make it 199. Perfect. Now comparison 5 is true. Let's make sure they didn't want us to do anything else. For each Boolean expression, identify the sprite properties being compared, change the code. Yes. Okay, we're good. That was a long one. Okay, 6. You can do this on your own. Booleans. In the past few levels, we have been comparing values of sprites to find out whether something is true or false. Let's start putting that into the context of an animation. Do this. The program draws a race car and a finish line. We are going to figure out when the race car crosses the finish line. The sprites have all been set up for you. Add a console.log statement inside the draw loop. Okay, show me where. Okay, there's the draw loop. 
Uh, so they want us to put the console.log right there. Okay. Add a Boolean expression inside the console.log that asks, is the X position of the race car less than the X position of the finish line? Okay. This will probably confuse a lot of people. Okay. They want us to put a Boolean expression in here that asks this question. The key here is less than. Less than. So let's look for the less than operator. That is this. All right, so is the X position of the race car. So what what is the race car? Okay, race car. So let's type in is the race car dot X because it's asking about the uh, X position. Is it less than the X position of the finish line? All right, so what is the uh, variable name for the finish line is the question. Okay, it's finish line written in camel case. So finish line dot X. Now I'm going to click out here. And I do believe that this is correct. Look at the output of the program as the car moves. When does the output change? Why? Okay, when they say output, I'm pretty sure they want us to be looking either down here or over here. Let's reset this and run. False, false, false. False, 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 false. False. Okay, it crossed the finish line. As soon as it crossed the finish line, it started saying true. Because this console.log has the Boolean equator, Boolean statement asking, is the race car, the X position of the race car, less than the X position of the finish line? No, it's not. It's still not. That's why it says false. And then once the car crosses the finish line, the race car dot X position is greater or is is uh yeah is greater than finish line dot x okay so just to clarify as the car is moving this way its x position is greater than the finish line but once it crosses the finish line its x position is less than the the x position of the finish line and that's why this says true okay let's move on More practice with booleans. Let's use one more boolean expression to check the condition of a sprite. You can use a console.log command to check whether its scale is 2 yet. Okay. Ah, a growing apple. Do this. Add a console.log statement. Um, okay, I guess last exercise we did it in the draw loop, so let's put it in the draw loop again. And we did it down here, so let's put it down here again. Add a Boolean expression inside the console.log that checks whether the fruit scale is greater than 2. Okay, so the keyword greater than. So we want to find the greater than operator, which is right there. Boom. Uh, and let's put it in here. And they want us to see if fruit.scale is greater than 2. So fruit.scale greater than 2. All right, and uh, let's see. False, false, false. Is it going to be true ever? Yes, true. Okay, so at that point, it had become greater than 2. Okay, looks like that's it for this level. Watch this video. Do not skip these videos. They will help you. Okay? Read this. If statements are extremely important, so I want you to read this. It might not make sense right away, but read it, and as we progress, it will start to make sense. I'm going to stop the video here so I can complete this lesson.